Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we have the announcement of a brand new IDE from JetBrains, the makers of IntelliJ, WebStorm, Rider, so on and so forth. Uh, they are now bringing out a new IDE, and to understand what the purpose of this is, I'm going to do a very quick demonstration for you. Here you can see uh, some source code. It's C-sharp source code, and what I'm going to just do is come here, and I'm going to open this file up in Visual Studio Code. So let's just right-click, open with Visual Studio Code and uh, done. All right, so if you want to come in here, you can go ahead and start editing this code right away. So that's pretty much instantaneous. Now let's take the same file and let's open it up with one of JetBrains IDEs. This is Project Rider and opening, opening. All right, we got our display, uh, a little bit more display. Okay, uh, loading some stuff. Don't know what, but it's loading some stuff. We don't need to open the entire project file. We'll just open up the individual file. Loading, loading. Loading, more loading, and almost done, almost there. Oh, there we go. Now we are loaded. Now, don't get me wrong. This is uh, not really something you deal with too, too often unless you're uh, opening or editing an individual file, but the overhead for loading an entire IDE is bloat. Like you, You've got some extra time there. We're still actually loading things in as we speak right now. The same thing is going to happen if you use a full fat IDE like Visual Studio itself. That's why Visual Studio Code is proving to be so popular right now. And again, if I go ahead and open a second file now that we've got that opened up, it should be substantially faster. So this is really kind of a, an initial load thing, but it's quite common to just wanna, boom, I wanna go in and I wanna edit a file and be done with it. Now, a couple of the nice things about um, the IntelliJ or the JetBrain series of IDEs, such as IntelliBrain, uh, WebStorm, Project Writer, and so on, is that you've got a consistent user interface. They have some of the nicest refactoring code out there. So if you're looking for a cross-platform, very consistent way to edit code for just about any programming language under the sun, uh, JetBrain's products have always been a great opportunity. But today what we are looking at now is Fleet. Now Fleet is completely unique in the fact that it basically loads up instantly and then you can turn on IDE support after the fact. That's a very neat idea. There's this little button right here. You click it and it switches you over into a full mode as opposed to like quick load mode. So uh, it's built from scratch on 20 years of experience developing IDEs. Fleet uses IntelliJ's code processing engine uh, with a distributed IDE architecture and a reimagined UI. And there is what we've got in terms of the UI. Again, compare it against what we are dealing with here. And there's a nice sparseness to it. Actually, to be honest, it really kind of reminds me of uh, Visual Studio Code. And truth of the matter is Visual Studio Code is definitely the leader at this point in time. So going after their look and feel and lightness does make a lot of sense. So there's some really cool things here. Again, Editor Light. They built Fleet to be fast and lightweight text editor for when you need to quickly browse and edit your code. So none of that starting up over you know, 20, 30 seconds like we saw with Rider. This basically starts up in seconds. Uh, mute, uh, so you can start working immediately and then you can transform it into an IDE with the IntelliJ code processing engine running separately from the editor self. Um, and then IDE smart, so you can switch it over. So once you've got it loaded into IDE mode, uh, things like uh, project and context aware code completion, navigation to definitions and usages on the fly quality checks and quick fixes. Um, so that's what happens when you load in the full version, you get the language servers and the code engine powered by IntelliJ. So that's smart mode to toggle that one on and off you basically just click this button. So you're kind of getting best of both worlds. You're getting a lightweight code editor, and then you can bring in more if you need access to it. So uh, it's distributed uh, for flexibility. It's designed to support a range of configurations and workflow. You can simply run Fleet just on your machine or move some of the processes elsewhere, for example, by locating the code processing in the cloud. Uh, that's using space. We'll get back to that in a second. Connect to a remote machine and use an instance of Fleet running there uh, to work with your code. Uh, you can run Fleet in one or several Docker containers uh, with the desired environment for your project or in the cloud coming soon, uh, power virtual machines in the cloud to build your app and run fleet alongside the IntelliJ code processing engine. Um, you got collaboration built in there. So share terminals, debugging sessions, review code and so on. So if you're working with a team, it's nice in that regard. It's also a polygot, so it supports multiple languages. Uh, you're gonna see out of the box, it's gonna have Java, Kotlin, which I believe it's actually written in Kotlin. That is fleet is written in Kotlin. Uh, Python, Go, JavaScript, Rust, TypeScript, and JSON are ready to go right now. And coming soon are PHP, C++, C Sharp, and HTML. Um, 
again, there's this thing about spaces again to help your team uh, work on your project even faster. Fleet can tap into the power of space dev environments. Uh, your project in Fleet will run in a pre-configured performant virtual machine that is warmed up and ready to use in seconds. You can connect to a dev environment with Fleet from your personal machine in a few clicks and dispose of it once the task is complete. Uh, IDE uh, with the central tools. So that once you're in full fat mode, you've got things like terminals, Git, run and debug, go to multi-platform support for Mac, uh, Windows and Linux, by the way, is what Fleet's going to run on. Uh, theming support, uh, you're going to have plugin support. I wonder if it'll be the same plugins as the IntelliJ ecosystem, because there's a ton of plugins out there. Uh, but I imagine it's going to be its own thing there. Uh, and you've got uh, port forwarding um, abilities built in there as well. It is a waiting list here. So if you want to try it out, just basically come on here, apply. It's, it's a bit of a questionnaire, what languages to use, that kind of stuff. And then hopefully you'll get in uh, eventually in terms of space. Uh, it's a cloud dev environment for JetBrains IDE. So basically it's their own uh, server hosting for code and Fleet is going to support it. So you can think of this kind of like pre-configured dev environments running in the cloud uh, and Fleet is going to have support for that right out of the box. Um, so yeah, and then obviously it is built around uh, Fleet, but it also works with IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. Uh, and then here you can see the pricing. So you're basically paying for your development environment as you actually use it. Uh, I, there are some advantages to this. Obviously, you have uh, much faster resources potentially available on their servers. You can connect to them from multiple different machines, multiple different people, and so on. So basically, it's cloud-based um, development environments that they've got going on in their um, cloud service there and fleet will work with it if you're interested uh, there is a blog out there announcing fleet it's available in french dutch uh chinese probably and i don't know korean perhaps and japan japanese i have no idea uh portuguese um russian and spanish uh, so if you want to read this in those other languages those are available here uh, but this is basically kind of the same overview that we just had uh so eh. Um, again, those are the languages that are currently in. Those are the languages that are coming. Uh, it can run in spaces and so on. Uh, very much an interesting uh, development. I do like their existing IDEs. Um, again, Project Rider is being more and more um, geared as the uh, IDE for game developers with things like Unreal Engine support out of the box, C-sharp support, integration with Unity, and again, Unreal. Um, it, it's kind of the way they're going with it. And it's a great product for sure. Uh, IntelliJ IDE is available out there as a uh, community uh, edition. You can grab it completely for free. Uh, WebStorm is one of the best web development environments out there. There's PHP Storm, there's RubyMine, there's, uh, uh, they've got a Python one, they've got a Go language version, they have uh, C Lion for C++ code and so on. So they have a huge number of IDEs. And it's interesting to see ultimately where Fleet fix, fits into that whole scenario. Uh, Fleet is uh, an interesting looking project. Uh, again, I love the fact that it's going to be like an instant startup kind of so you can use it as a code editor. But if you need full language processing support, project support, Git support and all that stuff, uh, you press a button and you turn it into a full fat IDE. Definitely an interesting interesting project. And that is Fleet, a new IDE uh, from JetBrains. If you want to go ahead and check it out, it's available at jetbrains.com forward slash fleet. I will have that in the linked article down below as well. And let me know what you think. Are you kind of moving? So one thing I found is I used to use Visual Studio a lot. And I just find myself doing small, quick edits. I, the big thing is I want code completion. And Visual Studio gives me all of that, uh, Visual Studio Code, that is. So I've been finding myself using Visual Studio Code more and more for just about everything. Something like Fleet could definitely be interesting. Now, what's the pricing going to be? I have absolutely no idea. But let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.